Welcome back to the man cave. We have uh, cut the tunnel out of this car so that we could fit the bigger transmission in it. In our earlier video, I talked about this tunnel not fitting all the way flush up against here. So what I have done is I have actually put me a groove in this firewall right here so that my tunnel fits up inside of it. And that allows this tunnel piece to fit flush against the firewall. What I've also done, this had a gel coat on it and I've come in through here and taken off the gel coat around the perimeter. You can see I've put a few holes in this tunnel piece. What's gonna happen is, I'm gonna put my epoxy in, I'll set this tunnel in place, I'll use some screws to hold it together until it sets up, and then I will go back through and put rivets in it, and then we'll finish up the around the seams. So I have also installed the bell housing onto this engine and I've done that so that I can measure from the bell housing back to the shifter so that I can get my shifter all set up as we put this um, transmission tunnel piece back in. So we have also made a decision that we needed to replace these floorboards. You can see that there's some pretty significant holes in them. I drove a screwdriver through this um, really easy and so we're going to go ahead and replace the floors. So as soon as I get this tunnel completed, we're going to take our new floor pans and we'll set them in place and we'll mark our existing floor pans um, and we'll cut the bottoms out of our floor pans. We're probably going to trim this new piece to make them fit a little cleaner than this does originally and then we'll go ahead and weld the floor pans in place. When we installed the motor in this car, we had always figured that we would put air conditioning in it. So we installed a compressor with our front pulley drive system. Since we have the heater core out of this car, I've made the decision to go ahead and install that air conditioning system now. So we ordered a complete air conditioning system minus the compressor. And I will install this system before we put the interior back in this car. Since we had the majority of the interior out of this car, I've gone ahead and we've, we're removing everything, every piece of interior trim. We're going to do a color change on this car. Since nobody builds a kit for doing this at Complete Car, we're going to have to order each individual piece separately. Um, I am unsure why nobody offers a complete kit for this car, but they don't. I'm going to go through and make a detailed list of every piece that we need for this interior. Some of these metal pieces like on this steering column, I can just pull them apart and clean them up and paint them. But all of these plastic pieces are going to have to be just replaced. Since these factory four-speed Corvettes do not have a removable transmission cross member, we needed to cut this cross member. So I have cut this cross member out and I have welded um, some adapters in here so that I could make a removable cross member. When I cut the floor pans out of this car, I can reach in here and weld this piece up a little bit better. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Thanks for spending a little time with us here in the man cave. Appreciate you watching our videos. Please hit the like or subscribe buttons and also leave comments. I will try and respond to your comments and leave me ideas for videos and I will try and make them happen.